Good morning, everybody. Morning messages for you. Let's see what's going on. Hopefully everybody is good. All is good in your hood. Messages for those watching, please. Let's see where we go with this. Let's see what's going on. So this is a Denise Lynn deck. The Denise Lynn deck. Yeah, Distant Thunder. Wondrous Universe. Ooh, I love it. Impasse. All right, so this feels to me like you're um, going to get to a place where you're, um, I don't know, sort of delivering on the magic that you're talking about. So you might have some big changes happening in your life right now. There's things going on. There may be some, um, you know, blocks. There's some, all this kind of stuff. But so much magic is going to be going down that, uh, you know, the, the uh, obstacles, the issues with other people, it's almost like you're not, it's not that you're not paying attention. It's that you're in your, oh, it's a happy place. You're in your vibe. You're in your, you're in your powerful energy. And other things, are, it's just not bothering you. All right. It's not going to bother you because, um, you know, just because you become enlightened and because you move into a higher level of consciousness doesn't mean this stuff stops happening. Okay. On the contrary, it happens. And it's like, how do you then react to it based on your next level of consciousness? And that's where you are right now. So let's look at, I'm going to do a little reading about like what's going on and then what's really going on, like what's going on underneath. So just for you, Okay, just for you here. We'll do the Celtic cross spread, which some of you may know or may not know. Eight of Pentacles, the card that's underneath, really working on it, really working on getting to the next level of consciousness. Right now, this feels like you're not getting there. All right, it feels like you're, it feels, it only feels like you're not getting there. Um, because underneath, you're doing what you need to be doing. All right, everything, you're, you're okay. You, you might feel or what might happen in the external world here, the distant thunder and the impasse and I don't know how to move forward. Um, none of it really, I mean, it matters because you're experiencing it and all of that. But now you're sort of feeling that yourself in a different level and you're like, does this really matter? Here's what's coming. An opportunity for romance, an opportunity for love. I'll talk you through all of this. Um, opportunity, Nine of Pentacles, Hermit energy here, Three of Pentacles, Temperance, Sag. So we got Sag, Virgo so far. Ooh, Leo in the in the early, um, recent past. Hierophant, Ace of Swords, Queen of Wands, Ten of Cups. Beautiful. So I like this because you're starting out the reading in a five. This is kind of my, this is kind of my least favorite card. This and the five of swords. I'm, I'm going to say they're tied. Don't tell this card. It's like my least favorite thing. It feels like you're broken, destitute, out in the cold, on your own, down on your luck. It just, it's a really, to me, the positive sides of this is very hard to see. It's, it can be that there's change going on and you're just having a negative experience about the change. Okay. But the outcome is beautiful. Ten of cups. This is probably my favorite card in the deck. So we're going in the right direction, right? We're going from the five of pentacles to the ten of cups. So I'm good. So anytime if you're, if a lot of people on my channel are tarot aficionados, to me, if you, the reading starts in this crappy place and it gets to a much better place, I'm fine with it because you're going up. All right. So, um, the romantic offer coming in, this is an opportunity. This is an, well, this is the, uh, the situation you're in right now. There is a possibility of a romantic connection with someone. I see Virgo, Leo, Sag, Taurus. And you could throw Aries in there because uh, Sag, Aries, Leo, all the fire signs. You could just throw that in there. So this is what's going on. This this uh, very opposite energy here, Five of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. 
right? One is down on their luck. The other one is like, oh, look at this. Look at oh, something awesome coming, right? The opportunity here is um, should be confident of this opportunity. You should feel good about this opportunity. This is you in your nine of pentacles, um, just feeling confident, feeling at the top of your game, just very different from that five of pentacles. So you're, you're doing that, and I don't know why you're feeling that way. You could feel that way about a specific person, that maybe you're not going to get the... Um, Maybe you're not going to get the offer that you want from a specific person or something like that. You could feel that way. The universe, the wondrous universe, don't forget about that, is saying to you that finding this next level of consciousness is going to help you navigate this relationship with this person. It's, all going to help, it's also going to help you um, get out of your funk. So if you're in, if you're alone right now, if you're in a lonely place or you feel lonely or something like that, just know that doing all this work, again, this eight of pentacles that's showing up, what's really going on is that you're doing the work you need to do. You're doing the work of the hermit, the work of finding your light. You see how he's shining his light there? You're also um, a guide or a teacher, magician and hermit. You're a guide or a teacher. This relationship can be very powerful one it feels to me like it is commitment there is commitment here how we got here is that you guys chose to work together now maybe this person's not in your life yet but that this is going to become obvious when this person shows up could be this leo from the past a leo or somebody who is leo-esque someone who's you know people see people notice right you guys are very like a power couple okay in the near future, Sagittarian energy, balancing, um, keeping my feet on the ground. Um, temperance is how do I make this work? Can we make this work? How can we get this to work? What's the issue here? What's the problem? I feel like somebody feels out in the cold and the other person feels very confident. So, right, it's like this. It's like, can we get can we get everybody like on the same page here? And I think you can. So um, the Hierophant is the in the position of how other people see you. And they see you um, as a powerful leader. They see you as somebody who is ready to move forward in the sense that I'm ready for commitment. The truth, maybe you don't feel so good. Maybe you're not, maybe there's some questions that you want answered. All right. Hopes and fears, more, more fire energy here. Hope, wanting a real passion, wanting real connection. Ten of cups outcome. That's like the best thing there is. All right. So I'm going to keep going here. Tower, Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Woo. All right. So this doesn't, um, there are some questions you want answered. I feel like, uh, there's going to be a conflict here. There's going to be a big conflict here and it has to do with, um, lying about money. So if you're coming across looking like this five of pentacles and your opportunity is to be nine of pentacles, I feel like there might be something here that has to do with um, the truth coming out about money as it relates to your relationship. There's something that's incompatible about money with your relationship. Um, you could, we could be talking here about um, someone who is not very good at expressing feelings other than how it relates to money, other than how it relates to security, okay? and I feel like you guys are compatible in that sense. But here's the thing. This is about you. And I know I like, I love actually that you're going to 10 of cups. You're looking, that's looking really good. But there's some stuff here that has to happen in the middle. <clears throat> there's some stuff here that could be big drama about money or something like that. And I feel like just from a, just from a standpoint of right, distant thunder, like you may know of this, you may know that that's coming, 
this is an impasse this is an incompatibility all right and you there's also it also can be it doesn't have to be with another person this can be an incompatibility in how you choose to move your life forward right there's an offer here you're becoming a spiritual leader right a spirit these are both spiritual leaders different kinds of spiritual leaders right <clears throat> and the truth is there's something incompatible about how you're thinking about money as it relates to becoming a spiritual leader and you're going to you're going to be able to balance that and figure that out how do i work with that issue all right how do i do that sun more leo ten of wands hierophant five of wands this is about other people's perceptions okay so as you're moving into you know becoming this wizard <clears throat> becoming this masterful leader, other people, right? You're the one who's living that. What's around you is distant thunder and issues and stuff like that. You're doing fine, but other people are seeing you and Ten of Wands. They could be seeing you as working too hard, not working hard enough, <clears throat> they could be seeing you as someone who has um, a large following or has a lot of people around them or has some kind of, this is almost like um, leading a, a, a large following, leading a large contingent of people, being on that path. It's a lot of work, okay? It's a lot of work. And even though this is something that you want to do, I feel like the money issue is the thing here. When you're becoming a spiritual leader, what is money? How is money playing a role here? Is money getting completely tossed out? Right? Is that not a thing? Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. King of Swords in reverse. <clears throat> okay, so I did pick up the deck in reverse, but I'm going to use this because I do feel like... Um, this is what, remember I said in the beginning of the reading, what is not being seen. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, King of Swords, Page of Swords. Page of Swords is other people watching you. And I feel like this is what's being resisted. Having a clear understanding about how you're moving forward in a spiritual path and how it relates to money. And, you know, we talk about money on this channel. We talk about these things. And it's one thing to, you know, there's the relationship part here. But I feel like this, I feel like this is like an internal battle. So you might have some incompatibility with a relationship that has to do with money. But the good news is that um, Ten of Cups here is the outcome. So Ten of Cups is here. Ten of Pentacles is here. Ten of Wands is here. What's missing is Ten of Swords. Okay, and Ten of Swords is the end of a cycle, the end of something happening a certain way, the end of a thought, the end of the way of thinking about something, a feeling of betrayal, right? We're ending on that. The truth that's coming out is that you may believe that spiritual work uh, needs to be um, missionary work. It needs to, all the money needs to go to a traditional kind of church or something like that. And you're becoming the spiritual leader. So that is like messing with your mind about how money might work. Um, you're also dealing with a partner, dealing with a spouse, dealing with a person who has a hard time speaking, communicating. Definitely money is one of the incompatibilities here. So these things are being resisted. And the Ten of Pentacles, by the way, is going the distance. So Ace of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. And then the King of Swords there. Having a clear vision of how this life is going to go. You've got an Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. So what is your truth about money? And money, Pentacles can be just resources. So what is your truth around that? And how is it working with your relationship? How is it working with your career path? Because I feel like underneath is this Eight of Pentacles. Shows that you're working on all these things, but also it's your work right? 
getting blown out. Once the truth is coming out, moving out of a certain kind of work, becoming a leader, becoming a spiritual leader. And what's getting blown up is this impasse. All right, so I'm going to keep going here. If you want to come on, come along with me, please do. But there's an impasse here about money and worth, your worth, your self-worth, your value, how you value yourself, what you think your what you think your gifts are worth. <clears throat> there's a block here. Okay? So I am also going to look at um I see Leo and Taurus, Virgo, Leo, Taurus, Virgo, all the fire signs. Oh, we have a lot of kings here, too. We have two kings. We have the Hierophant twice. We have the Hermit. So I'm going to look at the, these signs individually, okay? All right. Welcome to Morning Messages. Get your sense of what's going on, your truth about money. All right. Link is below. I'll see you over there.